This is the story of Victor von Rye. The child of a minor noble family in Waterdeep, his parents were members of the Harper's Hall and skilled bards of their own right. Victor was only two when Drogon came to visit his parents, too young to understand what was going on. It would be here that he meets the old dwarf for the first time. Too young to understand why the old dwarf was carrying a box full of little trinkets, and not too concerned on exactly what they were for, either. Far too busy reading his books and playing with sticks. Instead, as the old dwarf left, Victor was left to his own devices. Raised by his parents to learn of magic, value the arts, music, protect the weak, and uphold good, Victor had the very traditions and elements of being a harper ingrained in him from a very young age. And this was a good thing, because Victor was incredibly bright for his age, with a steadfast will and great patience. Well matured for his age, he began to work with his parents to practice both the mystical and combative arts. A talented young boy, he began to show early promise, enough that even his tutors began to praise his antics. When Victor turned 13, the young man met Drogon again. The old dwarf was impressed by him, and even taught him a few spells. However, the man's true objective had been to come seeking his parents, and other harpers in the city's assistance. That night was the last time Victor saw his family. Instead, he watched as the young men and women followed his parents and Drogon out. His parents' calls to continue studying while they were gone, filling the air. After nearly a week, Drogon and only a handful of the Harpers returned. In his old, wrinkled hands was a box covered in mystical runes, and inside, a little castle. Unfortunately, Victor was in no mental state to try and comprehend what that little castle truly was. Instead, he only heard vaguely as Drogon explained that they had succeeded, but at a great cost. There had been many casualties, and his parents had been among them. Struck with his first great loss, Victor fell into depression, alone in a home that now was much too large for one person, especially for a young boy. Eventually, Victor would take to exploring the house of his parentage, reading documents his parents had left behind, studying the secrets they had kept from him on what they did as harpers. Eventually, the young boy would stumble upon a large egg in his mother's laboratory. The notes named it as a pseudo-dragon egg, a birthday present for him once he had turned 14 in the next few weeks. It had been left when she had to kill its mother to protect the local farmers, wanting to at least save the little unborn creature. This thought process, along with so many other stories and documents that he had found littered across their offices and labs, finalized Victor's decision and helped him overcome his depression after several long weeks of it. He realized that he wanted to help others as his parents had, not just people, but anything that he could, both because it was right and because he wished to uphold his parents' legacy. With this goal in mind, Victor sold his new property, gave all of his parents' documents to the Harpers, and requested to see Drogon. The dwarf, to his surprise, agreed, and began with an apology as soon as they met, having expected anger and blame from the young man. But instead, Victor showed him the egg, and of all things, asked him to help hatch it, to help him become a man his parents would be proud of. Without blame or anger, Victor, a young, nearly 14-year-old boy of all things, simply wished to move forward, making a decision that many adults even struggled with. Touched, surprised, and impressed, the old dwarf agreed, explaining to the boy that he was soon to make for Hilltop, a small town in the Silver Marches willing to take the boy in as an apprentice as long as he was willing to travel with him. Victor, having already sold everything, agreed. And finally, when the little pseudo-dragon was hatched, 
Victor named her Harmony. In the spirit of his two parents that had dedicated their entire lives to the arts, song, and protecting the good people of the world. The creature bonded to him quickly, and eventually the pair were inseparable. The next four years of his life, Victor spent training under Drogon. Eventually, other students joined him in, with him reigning as the eldest. Patient, mature, and kind, Victor became well known to the town as the big brother of the Little Academy, despite his mystical energies. Many times, wizards were looked at with distrust, but not with Victor. Soon, he would graduate and work to join the Harpers himself. With his final test on the horizon, his true story has only just begun. Hello everyone, and thank you for watching. If you enjoy my videos and don't want to miss out on future content, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. If you'd like to support me on a more personal level, offer recommendations, chat with me, or vote on future series, then consider becoming one of my patrons on Patreon. Thank you once again for all your support, and I can't wait to see you in the next chapter of our story.